What's up, everybody? It's the Bowtie Boss. I'm going to do this preview for Miguel Cotto versus uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Uh, biggest fight of the year, probably. I mean, I don't know if Mayweather and Pacquiao was that big. I don't know. They're selling it as the fight of the year. Hopefully, they do a million buys. Uh, man, it's at 155 pounds for... <clears throat> respect titles not really any actual titles which i'll get into first i'm so happy that miguel Cotto did not pay that 1.1 million dollars to the wbc for their fucking title that's just stupid 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 business you know once you get to a certain point you transcend titles and and Cotto is at that point the fight with him and Alvarez is big no matter what. It's not big because of a WBC title. So to charge $300,000 to fight for the right of that green belt. Now come on, how many green belts does Cotto already have? How many green belts does uh, Alvarez already have? Shit, I mean, there's titles all over the place. It's not worth three hundred grand, And then $800,000 to, to Triple G as a step aside. Come on, bro. Triple G really don't even make 800 grand for his actual fights. What the fuck am I going to pay him 800 grand to not fight him? And, and look, Cotto's probably going to retire after this win, lose, or draw anyway. He's got no reason to have to deal with any of this bullshit. Here, take your title. Like I've heard everybody else say, so I'm not uh, the first to, but, you know, turn it sideways, shove it up your candy ass, man. Uh, so, on to the preview prediction and all of that stuff. You know, Miguel Cotto in his prime probably would not have beaten Alvarez and I, I, not just the size which I think is, is a, a very big deal is the size but for guys to hurt Canelo Alvarez and I'm just going to throw this out there without like real big keys to victory and all the rest of that shit for guys to hurt Alvarez for you to beat him you have to do one of two things either you have to be on the outside and squarely outbox him uh, like you know, I thought Lada did for eight or nine rounds. I thought Trout did for five or six rounds. I thought Floyd did for, you know, 11 and a half, 12 rounds. So it's easily doable if you're the right guy. The other way to beat him is by punching inside of his punches like Miguel's brother did, uh, Jose Miguel Cotto. So when, when he caught him with that left hook, it's because you catch him in the middle of his combinations. And it's it's easily possible to do that, guys. You know, for, for Alvarez... He, his combinations are almost always predetermined. He hits mitts like a maniac. You know, his, his mitt drills, they always look perfect. Why? Because he's done them thousands and thousands of times. You know, if you do something all day, every day, you're going to be really good at doing what it is that you've been doing all day, every day. It doesn't mean it's perfect. It doesn't, you know, when they say practice makes perfect, well, practice makes whatever you're practicing perfect. So, how does Cotto catch him? You know, he's got to let that left hook go when when uh, Canelo's in punch number two or three of his combination because Canelo doesn't have a second gear in those things, man. He throws them with 100% power, 100% muscle, which is why uh, Alvarez always gets tired in his fights, too, is he's punching with muscle. Uh, so he's not lung tired, he's muscle tired, right? The problem for Cotto is that he doesn't do that. He doesn't punch while somebody else is punching. He waits for you to punch, and then he throws. Uh... Now, if he were a bigger guy, then yeah, he could catch and counter, right? But he's not a bigger guy. He's not going to be the bigger guy this night. And and um, the other thing that I have a big problem with Cotto is that when he thinks he's boxing, what he's really doing is backing up. You know, he doesn't have that back up and box. He backs up, and then he stops, and then he boxes. He doesn't fight real well off of that back foot. I know people are saying he's got the better boxing ability, and I agree with you. I agree with you 100%, but that doesn't mean that Miguel Cotto can outbox Canelo Alvarez. How is this thing going to go? You know, I see uh, I see Alvarez, man, winning the first couple rounds. Maybe Cotto does all right, but by 4, 5, and 6, Canelo's going to separate himself from Cotto. Going to start running away with the fight. Going to start busting up Cotto's face. Going to start breaking down his body a little bit. Cotto's going to have his moments in there. But I, I'm telling you guys, it's not going to be big. Uh, not big enough to, to put Cotto over the top. I'm picking Alvarez by some kind of stoppage uh, between, say, 9 and 10. You know, if not, I'll go the easy route and say that uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez wins a decision 116, 112, 117, 111, somewhere in there. 
goes and wins no title. Uh, WBC, I guess, is going to give him a title because he's paid a fee. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to tell Triple G that if you want to fight me, you got to do it at 155 pounds, which is just a way to duck Triple, Triple G. And I say, look, if you're going to do it, if you're going to duck the man, just do it outright like Cotto did. Say, you know what, fuck it. I'm not paying a step aside fee. I don't want that title. I just want my money. Give him my 30 mil, 20 mil, whatever he's going to get. All right. It's bow tie boss, Canelo Alvarez. You know, uh, TKO 9, 10, or, or uh, kind of wide uh, uh, decision. Peace.